don't give up on dating. This is a seemingly common trend nowadays because modern dating is quite different from what dating used to be even a few decades ago. And due to that, it's making a lot of people want to just give up entirely, primarily men, but I've even seen some women saying this as well. So I don't believe that this is actually the right route to take because what I've learned of human psychology, I truly believe that relationships are one of, if not the most, fulfilling things in life. I don't believe there are many things that can conquer the fulfillment and happiness that you get from a great relationship with someone who is a ride or die for you, someone who can maintain a healthy relationship with you, someone who supports you, motivates you, cheers for you, and is just there for you in general. So much fulfillment comes from that because it's basically showing you that you're not alone anymore, that you have someone there for you at any given moment and they're loyal to you. But as you can tell from the description I just made, not everyone out there is capable of creating a relationship like that. So this is my whole point. Don't give up on dating, just become better at looking for people who actually are worth your time and energy and know when someone isn't worth those things. That's all you should do. Don't give up on the entire thing just because of, you know, a lot of people out there are not capable of creating healthy relationships, but there still are people who fall into that category, who are capable of just that. But I understand they are pretty rare, so I'm not saying you should make dating a priority of yours, just don't give up on it completely because then if you encounter someone like this and your headspace is just completely turned off from dating, you can miss out on them. And God only knows how many more opportunities you'll get like that. I can tell you, these people are pretty rare. So you wanna make sure that when you encounter them, you're able to capitalize on that opportunity. So in this video, I wanna share with you a few things to look out for when you're dating to know whether or not someone will be worth your time and energy. Because yeah, you, you just shouldn't give up on dating. I mean, you can by all means, but you're basically robbing yourself of a lot of future fulfillment and happiness and just the capability to make your life as great as possible. So the qualities I wanna share with you, I basically boiled it down to three things, and they are, you wanna seek out self-awareness, emotional maturity, and someone being happy on their own. Those three qualities are huge, and you don't necessarily need to find someone who has incredibly high levels of each one of them. I mean, that would be the goal, right? But those people are almost like unicorns nowadays. So your goal should just be to find someone who seemingly has these three qualities and is at least working on them. They don't need to be like a paragon of personal growth and <laughs> have really high levels of each of them. Just find someone who's got these qualities pretty much because not many people seem to have them nowadays. So as you can tell, self-awareness is basically just somebody knowing when they're causing their own problems in life and it also ties in with emotional maturity because with a decent level of self-awareness, someone will have good awareness of their emotions and that will mean that they'll likely know when they're feeling in certain moods so they're not going to take that out on you. Instead, maybe they'll just create space for a day or they'll go do something they enjoy to take their mind off their emotions. Basically, the whole point of emotional maturity is that that person is not going to take their emotions out on you because so many people do that in relationships and it causes them to crumble over time and self-awareness is important because you want someone who can actually tell when they're feeling their emotions <laughs> because if someone isn't connected to them in that level and they just immediately act on them in any given moment that's not good but you also want someone with a high level of self-awareness because they'll know when they're causing problems in the relationship they'll know when they're at fault and they'll take personal accountability and responsibility for that instead of acting like a five-year-old child and putting everything on you because they lack the awareness to know when they're actually causing the problems and when they're being difficult to be around. So those two qualities are incredibly important. But then someone being happy on their own is also a really important thing because that means this person is likely not going to be very needy and they'll probably have a lesser amount of insecurities than people who lack this quality. Because when someone is capable of being happy on their own, that's basically saying they don't need you to be happy. And I know that sounds a bit counterintuitive, like a lot of you are probably thinking, why wouldn't I want someone who doesn't need me? Well, because then that means they could be capable of creating healthy relationships. If somebody needs you to be happy, 
that's not good. <laughs> that means that person is incredibly needy. So it's going to create a bunch of issues. They'll likely be super clingy and they probably won't want you to hang out with friends or do things without them because they're not gonna be able to keep an eye on you and ensure that you're not cheating on them or, yeah. So just for the most part, try to find people who are happy on their own because then if they don't need you, you can create something beautiful together. It's basically you and them tackling life without fully needing each other. Instead, you're just kind of combining your forces together, combining your vibes and taking on the world that way. It's not kind of like you'll be lost without them and they'll be lost without you because that is a bit unhealthy, even though I know that's a bit of a societal norm in like romantic movies and TV shows and books and whatnot. The whole, I would be lost without you. But nobody really wants that in real life because the neediness that comes with that is not attractive at all so those are basically the three main qualities you should seek out but otherwise just kind of use your best judgment you can usually tell within the first three dates whether or not someone is actually good for you and when you figure that out just don't lie to yourself i mean i i know what that's like i've done it myself <laughs> believe me i've dated women where by the third date i knew it wasn't going to work out but i enjoyed their company and i was like Let's see where this goes. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't work out, but I just still wanted to, you know, continue having fun and creating a good time with them. But yeah, so in general, try not to ignore that because <laughs> we often know. Or if you do keep going because you enjoy their company, just at least make sure you kind of know what you're in for because it is eventually going to end. If you know it's going to end at some point, then yeah, that's going to happen. I mean, it's an inevitability. So just don't become so attached that you're destroyed after it happens because you already freaking knew, right? So what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. I truly believe people shouldn't give up on dating because where the hell else are you going to get so much fulfillment and happiness in life? Like there are very few things that can provide that same level of those things. I mean, owning a pet is great, sure, but they can't give you the same companionship that another human being can. So yeah, but anyway, <laughs> that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like content like this, be sure to subscribe for more. Otherwise, like the video. That's the easiest way you can help me out in this ridiculous algorithm that doesn't like showing my content to people. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm curious to see what you have to say. But if you're jaded and you've given up on dating for that reason, just be careful with what you say. Because yeah, I mean, come on, guys. Like, throw jadedness aside that's just, it's not good i've already made videos on that but anyway guys remember we're all on this journey together so the most important thing is that you just keep going keep moving forward and keep working on yourself so that you can get better at spotting people who would make bad partners for you and once you've realized that don't give them any more time or energy anyway i'll see you guys in the next video arrivederci